Just want to look very quickly at the wave particle uh, duality of light and to give you one experiment, an interference experiment that uh, uh, is where it all sort of stems from. So we've got two uh, gaps here. We have a, a light source um, coming up and excuse me, it's clearly not to scale but uh, it could be like a photographic film with two very very thin slits um, and um, the light beam, it's perhaps it's better to think of it as a thick beam, passes through and um, the wave fronts um, spread out from those gaps and uh, wherever peaks meet peaks and troughs meet troughs and, and uh, there's constructive interference and that produces on a screen um, the bright fringes and there's, there's fringes all the way through. There's bright fringes and there's dark dark spaces in between, dark where there's no light visible. So if this was red laser coming in you would see uh, red uh, spots as it were separated. Um, now um, that's the wave nature, it definitely produces uh, a cool kind of interference pattern. However with the particle nature, if we reduce this beam down so that there is much much less, so low low energy beam, so low that uh, we would talk about in terms of photons that there's only one photon passing uh, along this beam, so there's just one photon. And if we put a detector over the top, so that we could see which way the photon chose to go, um, it turns out that if we if we detect where the photon goes, so if it's detected in this one, that means we know it didn't go through the other one. We don't we don't get an interference pattern on our screen. Um, and the other case is true if we if we detect nothing, and then we know it went through the other one. And, and we still we don't get an interference pattern, so that matches the particle uh, nature of light. But here's where it gets really tricky, is if we take away the detector, but we still stick with the same energy level so that we know that there's only one photon coming in this side, somehow it still manages to produce our interference pattern, even though there's clearly only one photon going. So just by merely uh, looking the other way while it passes through the two gaps, so we don't know which gap it goes through, that leads us to produce the uh, interference pattern anyway.